Hey folks, how you doing? Susie Meadows here. Hey, we're gonna do some paper crafting today. Gonna to be really easy. We're gonna make some Valentine goodies. Uh, just digging through my stash. Use whatever you have. But I wanna show you what I've got and then maybe that'll spark some ideas. So it is Monday, February 5th. It's 5 p.m., my normal Facebook Live. And um, I'm here in central Indiana. It's up to 50s today, nice. We are seeing the sun, which is gorgeous. Um, we were socked in with fog and clouds for quite a while, so this is really nice. So we've got a nice little um, warm up, but I'm sure it's still winter. It'll get cold again. So, hey, um, as you're joining me, let you know you are joining me by leaving a comment. And uh, you'll know you're watching the live if you look up in that corner there and you see, the, see a red rectangle. Otherwise, you are watching a replay, which is lovely. Or you may be watching it on YouTube too. So I think I'll go ahead and move you over because this is a fairly quick and easy. Hey, Ruby, glad you're joining. Um, this is a fairly quick and easy uh, project. We'll make just a couple of them. So, but I will go ahead and get you over here to my workspace. So hang on while I do that. I always have to get reoriented where the picture, where the, where all the buttons are. The bells and the whistles and all that thing. So here we go. This is what we're gonna be using. Oh, I wanted to make sure I was in the right spot. Hang on, I'm gonna pull you pull this up on YouTube. Um, YouTube on my iPad to make sure it is. Oh, gotta refresh. Hang on, refresh. Yes, good. It looks like we are here. Lovely. Okay. Like I said, this is gonna be quick and easy, and I'm gonna use the Ladybug Builder Punch, and I showed a picture earlier using the, um, the Dove Hearts, and this is in our annual catalog, so you can get a, a stamp set and a punch, and I'm gonna use both, but I'll show you how we can make this treat with just the punch. So let me get these out of the way here. Get this put away, done with that right now. Okay, these, uh, these are the milk chocolate. Uh, I also saw some red ones, some the dark chocolate, is, they are red. Um, I personally like dark chocolate, but you know, I've heard a lot of people say yeah, they don't. So I thought I would start with the milk chocolate first. And all I'm doing is pushing in where the heart is. Okay, so we'll get these out of the way for right now. You know, Valentine's is coming up pretty quickly. Um, in fact, next next week, next Tuesday, classes here at the Lebanon Library and at 3 or 5.30. And RSVP is uh, on, what is that? That's Sunday, so I can get the packets together. So, like I said, we're going to make some treats. So, um, just unhooking the punch. I don't know if you see that. You see I have a measurement here. It says one and a quarter and a one inch. Instead of me having to get my ruler out every single time to see how wide or big of a piece I need, I decided, hmm, I'm gonna write that down. So um, now with the stamp set, I could stamp this and then punch it. In fact, I do have an example I can show you. Here, I need a straight edge. And we will punch another one here. So there we go, we have the body. Now let's do some wings. And I tried a couple different things. I started with some of our glimmer paper. And so I uh, punched out uh, the wings in bubble bath and then um, mm -hmm, berry burst. And I liked the berry burst. So that is one example, we'll leave that one right there. But I also wanted to do some stamping. So I got a couple different ways of doing it. So we are going to scooch everything up here, get it out of the way so we can see, make sure, yep, we're in the right, make sure I'm in the right spot. I am, good, okay. In fact, I'm gonna scooch this down just a little bit. There we go, get a little better centered. Okay, so if you have the stamp set, you can make these with just the punch. Here's an example there. But if you have the stamp set, here are the wings, the dots for the wings. Here's the body if you wanted to. 
And um, I think I've got one I can show you later. But let's just go with these for right now. So let's get this out of the way here. And I've got some, we're gonna do it two different ways. Here's some berry burst and here's some white. And we are going to go with the outside of the wings in berry burst. So I'm just gonna ink up and stamp that right there. Okay, now I could stamp color on color. Let's see what that looks like. So I'm inking up my berry burst and we'll stamp. It's gonna make it a little darker probably, yeah. Okay, now let's do some black. Let me get the berry burst closed up because we're done with it for a bit. Like I said, this is a quick and easy project. So here's our black memento ink and let me see, this is gonna go like that. So I'm just inking this up and get, get, I need to get over it so I can see this photopolymer. I can see through the stamp, stamp down. See there, it's a little off, but that's okay. Gives it a little bit of originality that way. And on this one, now this is tone on tone, so it's a little harder to see, but that's okay. So there we go. Yep, see it's off a little bit, but that's okay. Now let's try what if I just go with some black. We're gonna try some different things. So, you know, we have dots with nothing, but that's okay, I'll show you what we're gonna do with those dots. Close this up. And when you stamp, you always have to orient yourself. And so I know this is going in right here. Um, so. There, we've got a pair of wings. And here we'll do two pair of wings and see which we like better. So that's a pair. And there I can't get to it, so all I have to do is snip and get here. And I think that's what I want. Okay, so let's get these out of the way. Now let's put these together. So we've already got our bodies, so we can figure out how we want to do things. Now, I am not personally, I'm not fond of that one right there. I like this better. You know, let's do another body. Let's do, and I'll do it three ways. I've got all three, so let's do them all three. So here we will get another body out. There we go. We're set. Now I found that since I want to people to be able to eat this, <laughs> I'm using glue dots uh, because that way there's no, the liquid glue, it might, I don't know, it might get into the candy and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to do this a couple different ways. Here I'm going to take, we did berry burst on berry burst and I'm just putting I've, uh, two different ways of doing this. And I'm not sure which I like the best, but there I'm putting the wings down first, and then I'm gonna put the candy on top of it. So I am putting glue dots on this. I'm doing three, I don't know, maybe it's overkill, but it looks good to me. And I'm just going to push that like that. So that is one of ours. A bugs, bugs, bugs. Now let's do another one. And this time let's put the candy on here. So I'm gonna pick up the body and put a few glue dots on it. And one more. You know, while I'm doing it, we're gonna do another one. So there's a glue dot and another glue dot and one, and like I said, the third one. So. Get that off so I can find the end again. Okay, so this one we're gonna put the candy on first. We're gonna see which we like better. I'm gonna do that on two of them. I know my hand's in the way. Now we are going to, so we have that one right there. That's one I showed earlier. So now we'll put the wings on. So let's put a couple glue dots here, just put a couple right on the ends. 
I know some of you have this uh, bundle, so you can make these. And if you don't, that's always something you could pick up if you wanted. So, so there's another one. And let's do this one. And we'll see which you like better. So get one more glue dot. And we are going to put that. This is our stamped one. Okay, get that out of the way. So what we have got, I don't know which it shows up better. We'll do the white for right now. Okay. So here we have it with the wing underneath the candy versus we have the wing on top of the candy. And I like them both, so I'm not sure which I like better. But here it's the, just the colored cardstock versus here is the white cardstock where I stamped on it. Now, of course, to me, this is the easiest. Colored, colored cardstock, stamp, boom versus stamp stamp punch so but you decide which you like so here are our options and I wanted to show you one others I made another one earlier I stamped I stamped the ladybug bundle uh, body and punched it I stamped the wings in bubble bath and the black spots and punched it so that is a different look so when I pull these all out here this, let's get them all over here. And see, I did do the shimmer pink wings. Now, to me, I, I, would, I like this because this is something really quick and easy. You've seen, okay, we've been on here not even 12 minutes. And it's, I probably made all of these. Okay, I made three of them. I made three of them in less than 10 minutes. So you could go through a whole bag of candy fast to do these. Now you could snazz this up if you wanted. Here's an example of how I snazzed it up just a little bit. I added the Happy Valentine's Day from the Country Bouquet. And so I could uh, put this on a coworker's desk and just leave it there. If I wanted to sign it, I could, or I could just do it anonymous. That would be fun, wouldn't it? If they come in and get a treat and don't realize whose it is. Or another way, you could very easily use a square piece of cardstock. I don't know. I'm sure I have some. Okay, this isn't the right color, but this gives you an idea of the size. You could always put one of these on here and decorate this, stamp this, and put a little message, Happy Valentine's Day. And that way, um, or even if you wanted, if you wanted to contain it so things don't uh, fall apart, you know, our clear envelopes, you find these the same place as our white and cream envelopes. You could do that and you could close it up. And that way you could give it away that way. And that way, you know, it's all self-contained. So there you go. A couple really quick and easy ideas <laughs> of how you can get some treats together for Valentine's Day. Or you wouldn't have to use Valentine's Day. You could just say hello. There's several stamp sets that say hello. You could even just write on this. Or you could leave these as they are. So, gang, thanks so much. I wanted to come on and show you a really quick, easy project. And this, like I said is using the Ladybug Builder Punch, but you wouldn't have to. I'm sure if you had an oval, in fact, I do have ovals. If you have an oval punch, let's see what this would look like. Here I've got an, a double oval. Well, what if we, we could punch one, we could fold this up and we could, right here, you could have your, your butterfly, or but you could do it like that also. You know, that's another way if you didn't have a punch like that. So anyway, just some ideas, you know, use whatever you've got. Check, see what your stash is. And, but this would be a really quick and easy way of things to do. So gang, if you're interested in Tuesday's class, let me know by... Um, <coughs> pardon me, gotta get a drink of water. Let me know by Saturday. So... I can get the class packets together. Remember, it's um, five projects. I try to do a bonus project too. And it's $20 or it's free if you make $35, uh, have a $35 purchase in my online store. And oh, one other thing I wanted to mention. 
they just, I sent my newsletter out Sunday, but they just added 10 more goodies that you can pick from if you spend $50 or more. So check out my newsletter to get the link to go see uh, what they are. Many of them are already in the catalogs, the, um, um, the annual catalogs. I, and I'm trying to think off the top of my head what they are, but uh, there's a whole collection of things. There's cards and envelopes. I know there's, oh, there's a punch. In fact, what punch is, oh yes. The dragonfly punch is one of those that you can earn for free. So like I said, check that out on my newsletter. And if you have any questions, get a hold of me at craftingwithsusie.stampinup.net. And for my events, for, to, to shop, if you got any questions of what's happening, what's going on, there's a wonderful join special. You can get some really nice goodies. And uh, for a... Um, um, for $99 or you can go um, additional and you get free goodies with that. Uh, so it's the best bargain around. So um, if you're interested in purchasing, here is my host code. I will be back next Monday, which is the 12th, two days before Valentine's Day. Who knows what I'll be making. So thanks so much for joining me. It was good chatting and talk with you later. Bye-bye.